In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to generate a mixture of Gaussians. So let's l start off with just a normal Gaussian and uh, show you what happens. Right. So the, ma the main tool that I'm using to show you the mixture part is the histogram. Okay. So I'm generating 10,000 normally distributed ran uh, random variables and this is what the histogram looks like. Right. And that's what you expect for a simple bell curve. Now let's let's try and think of uh, what we how we can generate a mixture of Gaussians so the first thing is I'm going to generate two um, two Gaussian variables right so y1 and y2 so y1 is random distributed with mean 0 and standard deviation 1 but y2 this time is distributed with with the mean of 5 so that's why I have a 5 plus and the standard deviations one. So if I if I wanted to play, uh, mess around with the standard deviation, what I would just do is multiply this by, uh, say two. So if I multiply this by two, that means the standard deviation is two, and so on. Okay. So the question is, how do I generate a, a mixture of these two Gaussians? Let's try. Let's try something. Let's go. Y three is equal to y one plus uh, y two. Okay. So clearly the means are different. So the question is, would this would this work? Let's see. So when I do the histogram, surprise, surprise, it's still a bell curve. Okay, so it turns out that you can't simply add up two random. Uh, so you can't simply add up two random uh, random normal distributions and expect it to have a mixture Gaussian component. Okay, so it turns out that if you add up two random normal distributions, uh, the mean is simply the sum. Okay, so the mean of the new uh, y3 will be six. Okay, so if I just go mean of y3, remember, keep in mind that th this is a sample. Oh, sorry, not six, it'll be five. So zero, so the mean of this thing was zero, zero plus five, six. Okay, so, and you can see that over here. So it's centered about five. Right, so the mixture, uh, the mixture part. So this, this how you would go about doing it. So let me just copy this across. So you're going to generate, um, you're going to generate a random number between zero and one, and this time I'm going to say if it's greater than zero point five, it's it's one. Otherwise, it's zero. Okay. So basically, this is this is uh, this is generating a number uh, one. So it's saying it's one with probability point five and 0 with probability 0.5. Now if I easily change this to 0.9 then it's saying it's generating um, 1 with probability uh, 0.1 sorry is that the is that right? Yeah so it's yeah it's probably generating 1 with probability 0.1 and 0 with probability 0.9 okay anyway l let's go back to the 0.5 case All right. and the way that you generate a uh, mixture of Gaussians is like this Okay, so you go z times y1 plus 1 minus 1 minus z times y2. Okay, now if I look at the, the new histogram, it will be the one that you'd expect, a proper mixture of Gaussians. Okay, so you have a zero mean. Okay, so remember the first the first uh, Gaussian that I generated had a, uh, had a zero mean. So y1 was zero mean. And the second Gaussian was, was mean of 5. And you can see that over here right okay so that's that's nice with how to do a uh, mixture of two gaussians the next question will be how do i do mixture of three gaussians so let's let's go ahead and do that it's the same idea right so it's the same idea to generate this thing uh, but this time we're going to generate three things so we're going to generate a z1 so actually let me just let me not ju jump ahead so first of all i'm going to create a random number between zero and one so i'm going to create ten thousand of them Keep in mind that n over here is 10,000. And then I'm going to generate uh, z1, z2, and z3 like this. Okay, so what this is saying is z1 is 1 uh, with probability 0.2, z2 is 1 with probability, in this case, 0.4, and z3 is uh, 1 with probability 0.4. So remember it's saying r is greater than 0.6, so what's remaining is 0.4. The region between 0.2 and 0.6 is the is 0.4. Okay, so anyway, the the main idea is that you add those uh, three things up. The 
the probability is 1. So 0 0.2 plus 0 0.4 plus 0 0.4 gives you 1. Okay, all right, so now that that we had that, um, I want to create a third random, uh, normally random uh, distribution, but this time the mean is going to be 10. So I have a mean of 0, a mean of 5, and a mean of 10. Okay, now the I can't I can't do what I did before. I can't go z times y one one minus z times y two because I have three different numbers. And the way that you do do it deal with it this time is you do this. Okay, you say y one to the power of z one. So remember z one is either one or zero. You multiply that with y two to the power of z two and y three to the power of z three. Okay, so basically z one z two z three. It's called it's called a multinomial. Uh, or rather categorical distribution okay so what the z's are doing is that it's choosing one of the y's so it is choosing between y1 y2 and y3 according to these probabilities of 0 0.2 0 0.4 and 0 0.4 okay and now if i was to plot this thing we will get our uh, mixture of three gaussians now note how this gaussian over here is smaller and these two are roughly the same size. And the reason is, remember for the first Gaussian, I gave a weighting of 0.2. For the second Gaussian, a weighting of 0.4. And for the third Gaussian, a weighting of 0.4. Okay, so that's that's why this happens. So anyway, that's how you generate a uh, mixture of Gaussians. So if you have any questions or comments, please let me know. But otherwise, thanks for watching.